Hello, everybody! Um, so guess what just happened? I know that I have been very super busy lately, but it is because I have been putting all of my time and energy into building up a community center for foster adoptive families. I created it with two of my friends, Susan and Anika, and yeah, that's pretty much what we've been doing. It's 100% volunteer. We've never got paid anything for doing everything that we've done. And we just do it because we have a passion for it and we love it. And we want to not only help our families, but we want to help all of Arizona. And so something just happened and I'm just going to show you the news clip. Well, what would you do with a cool million dollars? Would you hand it over to complete strangers to pay off a mortgage? One family is doing just that for a trio of Valley moms. They are building something never built before in Arizona, community center just for kids. Here's Max Gordon with the story of their generosity. You might see bare floors and exposed studs. This is going to be the music room. But Anika Robinson sees potential in this old church. We knew that we were taking a huge leap of faith. Robinson, along with fellow foster mothers Angela Teachout and Susan Woodruff, are opening Arizona's first community center just for foster kids. Some other people may question or ask, why are you doing this? Isn't that cool? But for Randy Hansen, there was no question. Every child should have a magical childhood. Every child should have an opportunity to grow and contribute to our culture and our society. When Hansen found that the community center had a million dollar mortgage, he talked it over with his wife. So it was a, a two second conversation one morning over coffee that said, let's just do this and, and get it done. And just like that, the Hansen family cut a million dollar check. If there's anything in our world that needs our help, it's children. I was blown away. An opportunity to help the helpers. What they donate every moment of every day is far more valuable. That's your life. But for these women, it's a life well lived. We love what we do and so we don't call this a job. We call this, you know, an opportunity to bless others. In Mesa, Max Gordon, Arizona's family. Anyways, wasn't that exciting? I, I, yeah, um, it's really been amazing doing this community center. I I don't know if any of you have ever watched The Secret, but I saw that when I was like 18 years old. My dear friend Janae showed it to me. We were roommates at the time. And she's like, Angela, you gotta watch this. And um, for me, it was like a light bulb. I had always felt that I kind of lived my life. Like The Secret um, said basically if you haven't seen it you should watch it but it is about the law of attraction just putting out there what and attracting what you want and whatever you think is what you attract so if you're thinking negative thoughts all the time like oh I can't do this so oh, that's not for me oh I'm fat and ugly or whatever you're thinking if you're thinking those negative thoughts then that is what's you're going to create but if you think positive thoughts and you're that's what you're going to create and so I've always made it a habit of thinking very positively and just creating everything that I've ever wanted in my life and I've always known that if I was ever given a million dollars or if I ever created a million dollars I would give it right back into doing something really really good and so I've just always put that out there and, um, yeah, I, I knew from the moment that we got the building that somebody would just walk up to us with a check. And I told my friends that all the time they were kind of stressed about our mortgage because we did purchase the building for a million dollars and we had a mortgage of a million dollars. And I'm like, don't worry about it. Someone will just hand us a million dollars. And they did. I knew it would happen. So, yeah, always think positively and believe and you can seriously achieve anything because I am living proof of that but I'm really super excited we have our community center for foster adoptive families paid off for and not only that like the Hanson family like that was just the most amazing thing ever but there has been a lot of amazing people and a lot of miracles that have happened since we got this building we like even the day that we filmed that TV interview 
we had workers there in the background. Um, I think his name's Chaz Roberts, donated $70,000 worth of air conditioning units. So, and that they were putting them up while we were filming, and that's why we had to film outside. Um, yeah, so, and we've, we've just had everything donating. Another amazing person stepped up and got all his friends together and was able to get all of the flooring donated and the um, paint donated and the um, framing donated and another company came and like completely donated all the kitchen supplies and stuff and then another company um, redid all of our plumbing. The bathrooms weren't compliant and so we had to rip them all out and they had to totally redo them and even our pipes aren't the right size so they have to break into the concrete and rip those out and put them back in so yeah it's been really amazing and tis why I have not been doing videos because especially with this holiday season I've been having to drive all over the valley area collecting Christmas presents for families that are in real big need um and I've been gathering them from different businesses and organizations and individual people. So, yeah, that's why I've been busy. So, anyways, that was a long tangent, but Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that you have happy holiday season. And, yeah, that's all. I'll see you tomorrow. You'll see me tomorrow. All right.